team chairman and owner, uh, George McCaskey, come out and address you guys? And what did it mean to the team? Uh, I feel like it was huge. You know, it was a lot of distractions that week. Um, a lot of stuff that was going on in the media, I guess. Uh, but for him to just come and clear it up, you know, just give us a better understanding of what was really going on. Everyone, I feel like everyone appreciated it. Were you able to ask questions during that, or was it just kind of like an address and thank you very much? Yeah, that was it. Was just that. Yeah, that's simple. I feel like it's a different vibe in here than this week after the win and after you guys are kind of past those. Nights. Yeah, uh, yeah. The energy is high. You know, everyone's, you know, everyone's up. You know. Um, I mean, I feel like, you know, we, we know that it's time to turn this thing around. We have a good chance. Uh, we just got to continue to go week in, week out, and um, come out there and play like we know we're able to play and just get over that hump. Eddie, you, Matt, has been your coach for pretty much your whole NFL career, but your first year. What's it been like for you watching him over the past you know, week or so dealing with everything that was going on? Um, I mean, it shows resilience, you know, and um, for for me looking in, you know, I just don't like the outside stuff that's going on, you know, um, all the booing and all the the stuff that I see in social media, his his son's game, you know, that type of stuff. Uh, I feel like it got to be tough, but for him to come in and still lead us and you know not show any signs of weakness or letting that affect him, um, that that says a lot about him and his character, and, and you know, for us, for him to be our leader, just to follow behind what he's doing. So I feel like it's it's, it's tough, but you know, he's handling the situation very well. Does it feel like from a player perspective when those, you know, the, the fire naggy chants are going on or the booing, yeah. as you said, what does that do to you guys? I mean, we hate it, honestly. Um, and, like, the fans got to understand that doesn't help anything. You know, y'all want us to play better, do better. That's that's not helping, you know what I mean, when y'all sitting up there and chanting that. But, you know, I get it, you know, the frustration, you know, long life Bears fans been going through this for a long, long time. So I understand it. But it's not helping the situation. You know, I feel like it's just making it worse. But for us, this time, we like I said, we just continue to rally around each other and, you know, look at look look upon ourselves to get this thing turned around and block out all the outside noise. What do you feel like uh – a win this week against a, a really good Arizona Cardinals team could do to continue, you know, turning this thing around, like you said. Uh, it's huge. It's huge, man. And especially for them to come home, come here, get this win at home. Uh, I feel like it's huge. You know, we know how the season's been going. You know, it's no secret to that. So we just want to continue to go in week out, week, week in, week out. Just that one and all mindset. You know, go out there and play out the ball. We we able to play. You know, um, make plays and. Uh, you know, just just trying to get this thing turned around, man. And you know, we got over that hump, got this one win, and now we just got to continue to stack. Technically, you guys are only one game back of the last playoff spot. Is that something you guys notice, and does that give you an extra motivation now that you've come out of this losing streak? Um, me personally, I haven't looked into. It. I just know we're not out of it. So just to keep that in the back of my mind, like you know, right now it's playoff ball for us. You know, we go out, we went out. You know, there's a lot of good things ahead, and. Like I said, we got the guys in the locker room. We got the coaches. We just got to continue to just go out there and let it show on the field week in, week out. What's the toughest thing about facing someone like Kyler Murray's view with his legs? I know you guys faced quarterbacks like that before, but he's having a really good year, assuming he's back. Um, just basically him, can, he can extend plays, and he can make a lot of throws. So for us in the back end and in the rush, we got to contain him in the rush. In the back end, we got to cover a little longer. You know, uh, there's going to be a lot of scramble drills, so we just got to keep our eyes on our man. Khalil's obviously on IR. Yeah. He's been out for a little bit. You were out for a little bit. This defense at times with the players looks a lot different than it's looked in past years. Did you take it upon yourself at all last week to, to address the guys or talk to guys? Or how, how has your kind of leadership role played in past week just because there's so many different guys out there? Uh, just going out there and just, you know, just remind everybody, let's have fun. You know, just get our swagger back. You know, Coach Nagy used to always have this, this, this uh, saying, just be you. You know, just tell the guys, man, let's just be us. Let's go out there and play our ball, block out all the outside noise. It don't nothing matter but everybody in this huddle. You know, for the defense, I feel like this week, you know, we gave up two touchdowns on some on some plays, but we were still having fun. You know, and that was just the that, that was just the the, um, the message during the game. Like y'all having fun, you know, going in there, y'all having fun. Like nobody seemed like we having fun. You know, put a smile on your face, it's not over. So, you know, it was no doubt in our mind that we wasn't going to win that game. So. And me just bringing the presence like that, just the energy, you know, the character, and just, you know, flying around, and making sure everybody's comfortable, being in sync, you know, in the back end, and trying not to let the things happen the week before against Baltimore happen, you know, finish the game strong. All right, we got one more quick one. Eddie, it, based on what you're saying about the booing with Nagy and, and all that, I mean, it sounds, and you're not the only one, it sounds like a lot of you guys are still very supportive of him. Do you feel like in the position that you're in that you're, you're kind of playing for him to save his job at this point? I feel like we playing for each other, you know, Coach Nagy. This is a team effort, you know. Um, 
we, we, Coach Nagy had our back since the first day he walked in here, so I feel like we owe it to him. And I feel like a lot of players feel the same way, that we owe it to him. And we owe it to Chicago to go out, go out here and play our best ball. And like I said, it's, it's tough, you know what I mean? It, even though nobody's going to show it, but I'm pretty sure like that's like we come to your job and boo you every day or whatever the case may be, you're going to feel some type of weight, just like the fans. Like we come to y'all job and boo y'all at what y'all doing, how y'all going to feel about it, you know what I mean? So for him, he's still human, and we still human. Nobody likes it, so we just continue to fight. You know, like I said, just block out the noise, continue to do what we do. Roll Tide, too.